am a mocha mom and I am back hiding behind this baby picture of HMG in hopes that you'll think she's so cute that you won't throw stones at the messenger when you hear what I've got to say in response to the requested video that I talk about mocha baby's regimen. A lot of you wanted to know what am I doing that she's been able to retain so much hair at the ripe young age of three. She'll be four in the fall. I've only got three principles for you, but they work like magic. I shared that first picture because I wanted to show you that I'm really not working with anything spectacular when they're born. Here is MG2. She's a baby in the middle. Typically what I've got is hardly anything on the sides and a little kid and fro high top situation happening on top. A lot of you are too young to know who kid and play is, so I'm kind of dating myself. <laughs> Here is MG3, a little bit older, maybe a year younger than what Mocha Baby is now. But even at four, I might have maybe three inches of fro going on the sides and maybe five inches of hair on top, which I'll fasten, fashion into a couple of braids or a puff, but not a whole lot of stuff. And finally, Mocha Baby. She didn't have a whole lot. But if you look at me, this is a picture of me before my hair was locked. It was in twists. And you're looking at bra strap length hair shrunken to that. So when I embrace that right there, that, and someone phrased it beautifully in the comment section of the shrink, incredible shrinking hair video, I realized really quickly that I'd have to grow my hair down to my toes and fight a losing battle against shrinkage in order to see any type of length. So finally, having hair that looked long all the time became less and less important to me. And in walking around with short hair, <laughs> short looking hair, I noticed the byproduct was length retention. And so the first principle that I apply to myself and then to my daughters is to as much as possible, try to work with what the hair wants to do naturally. And in our case, it wants to be shrunken. So go with the shrunken styles. When you're manipulating it, manipulate it wet, style it wet, style it damp. And stretching is not a bad thing. I know there are many people that form regiments to reinforce stretching to minimize breakage. So I'm not against stretching and I stretch her hair out from time to time, but I don't use heat when I stretch because heat can be damaging. And also because we've got the type of hair that the minute it's humid, the minute they get sprayed with a little bit of water, it shrinks up tight and it shrinks up quickly. Principle number two, water is their hair's best friend. I did, when I ditched the shower caps, which with MG2, I think her hair was the, the, the most radical change with that. Immediately, all that brittle dryness went away just from taking a bath and letting some water splash on it. I needed moisture in their body. There's an internal process that's going on to moisturize the hair. So in my house, water is our primary beverage. We do drink juice, we do drink soda, but these things are considered treats. And finally, nappy hair wants to be left alone. That to me, that's probably the biggest principle, the most effective principle that I've learned. What can I do with, with, with detangling and washing and styling so that I'm interacting with the hair as little as possible? What that's meant is embracing fuzz and frizz and giving up that passionate desire to have that slick, smooth, shiny style all of the time. I think of the styles that I do with her hair as functioning in stages. I do enjoy my, my smooth, fresh look in the first stage, but then I allow myself to be comfortable in the middle stage where, okay, now it's starting to get a little fuzzy. It's starting to shrink up a little bit. And then in the final stage, some people might think I went too far and, and it's, got, it's gotten too fuzzy and too, too, too dull looking. But I've learned that their hair likes that. I try to find a style that I can leave in for two to three weeks at a time. 
and I'll wash their hair while it's still in the style so that I'm manipulating her loose strands, their loose strands, as little as possible. In the past, I would manipulate it when I took the braid down, manipulate it loose while I was washing it, Deta have to detangle again because it got all tangled up while I was washing it, then go to style, then I'm detangling again to style. And I notice the more I'm brushing, the more I'm moving the loose strands around, the more chance I have of breaking, breaking the hair off at the, at, the, at the ends that was just growing in through the roots. So retention really is about keeping what's coming in as much as possible and giving your body what it needs to grow as much hair as it is designed to grow and being patient and being happy with whatever it is that you that you get